Okay, so I just got done uh, verifying the timing on this particular one, and I have it set on the controller at 15 degrees, and it is at 15 degrees, so I am good there. So your next step you will do, and in this case, if you think I'm a little short guy now, the bus is up on a lift. Come to your controller, turn that baby on, scroll down to right calibration to ECU, number 11, click on it. We just got done doing the phasing. We were already on that program. When I send you the unit, I send it to you with a phasing program that's setting up the ignition. Now we're gonna to go to basically, right here, backup number one. Actually, all these are the same program. I just give you four copies of it just in case you screw up, but now I'm gonna take this baby and click it. I'm gonna let it load. Now you wanna watch this because sometimes it won't load. It's going. How about them Dodgers? Any day now. Okay, there you go. Download successful. So once that's done, you're going to want to turn off the power and turn it back on. But turn off the power for about 30 seconds. In this case, I just have it sitting right here for now. You might hear the unit. There you go, you hear it click off. So when you every time you turn the key off, it actually then stores information on it. Runs a little, I guess you could say self-check. I don't know if that's actually what they call it, but that's what I'm gonna call it. You want to do this for about 30 seconds and then turn your key back on. Um, because this one's up on the lift and I can't reach a key, I just ran a wire over to this is a positive over to the positive on the coil, basically. Okay, I think that's long enough. And since I don't need to do timing no more, I'm just going to go ahead and take this off now. And put that baby on. You hear it'll prime. Should be five seconds. There you go. Okay, and now we can actually go to startup. So, the handheld is programmed. The unit has now been loaded into it, the new program. If you want, you can verify that it did load, and here's a way you could verify. Let's just turn it on. Come up here. Tuning. And go down the spark map, and timing information should be up in there now. So there you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. So timing information will be back in there. All right, have fun.